Hi, my name is Alex, and I'll be taking you through some of the new features that we've added to Harmony 24. In this video, we'll be looking at our new port filtering option. So let's have a look. So here with our scene, we have several different characters, but we're going to be focusing on our screen right character, Ralph, here. Now, when you're working within Harmony, you can, of course, apply different compositing effects to your character's rig, and we'll be looking at those with our new port filtering option. So let's go into our character's rig. So we're going to go into our character's rig. As you can see, we have a group of our comps set up. And we can now label the output and filter that information down through our cables into a composite and out of our character's rig group. Here we can see that we have our import labeled with the same comp with effects name. We can click here to open up our menu, and we can see that we have the inverted option selected. Let's see what happens when we deselect it. Give it a second to render. And as you can see, we have all of the effects visible now on our character. This is just one of the uses of the new port filtering within Harmony 24. I can also utilize the option to specify specific areas of my character's rig to apply other compositing effects. So we'll use one from our library. We'll find our library, and we'll drag our color curve TPL into the node view, and we'll connect it to our rig and to our composite. Now, of course, by doing so, we have applied that new color curve node to the entire rig itself. But using the port filters, we can apply it just to the character's bag. To do so, we need to right click, choose port names, add filter to imports. And now I can see a list of all of the outports that we've tagged within the character's rig group. We're going to select bag comp, click here once again to add another one and we're going to add bag straps comp. And of course, if you look at the render now, it does not look right. So we're going to click once again and choose our matte mode. Give it a second to render. And there we have it. Now you can see that it has been applied to just the bag of our character. This is just one way that we can utilize the port filtering option within Harmony 24. But of course, you can also use it if you're rigging to use specific elements from your character's rig to cut different elements or apply different compositing effects to them. If you wish to read up on the new port filtering feature, please visit our website, www.docs.toonboom.com. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.